Hey, it's Dry Bear. Another week has come and went, so it's time to check in on our healer rankings for Season 1 Dragonflight Week 11. If you found value in this video, leave a like down below. It helps me out tremendously. Subscribe for more gaming content, and as always, if you have any questions or comments for me, join me on my live stream right now. Do it. Twitch.tv forward slash Dry Bear. Do it. We'll start out like we always do by checking in on last week's numbers. At the end of Week 10, we pulled these from Warcraft Logs, looking at the overall performance of healers in the game, and this is what we ended up with. Kind of an interesting turn of events from the beginning of the season. I mean, re preservation and restoration hadn't changed much. Mistweaver came up a bunch. Resto Shaman has been doing well, but we're actually seeing Holy Paladin fall down. Let's see if these trends continue going into week 11. And boom, week 11's numbers. Check it out. Preservation of Poker seems to have cleared the gap and started pulling further ahead somehow. We don't really know how, but uh, the <laughs> the 5% nerf they got a couple weeks ago didn't seem to me any, like it, it's, it was almost like throwing a stick at a, at a battle tank. It just didn't seem to, they didn't seem to notice. Didn't seem to care. They're still just the best in every category. We saw them a bunch in the MDI. We're seeing them a bunch in all mythic pushes. They're just they heal so well. They're so good, man. It's amazing. Um, so let's go through the numbers step by step in, in uh, the total order. Uh, again, these are pulled from Warcraft logs, so you'll see kind of that performance there. But Preservation is the undefeated champion. Yet again, uh, it doesn't seem like that's changing anytime soon. Even with the TA reworks and the 5% healing nerf that they got uh, and some of the uh, continued TA reworks plus some Echo reworks uh, that they got, doesn't matter, they're still insane, which I, I think is cool. I mean, I don't know it, if it's the new spec. I like the new spec to not be terrible when they first come out. It, and I like, I, Preservation is very unique. It plays differently than any other healer in the game. They've got it, you know, they've got a cool vibe going. It's fun to learn. They have multiple builds. You can go Blossoms, uh, Seedlings. You can go with the Reversion build with the set bonus. They got stuff going on. That's pretty cool. Restoration Druid is in the second spot, as they've always been. Uh, though that gap is starting to widen a little bit, you can see that Holy Priest and Mistweaver are catching up to Restoration Druid, and perhaps in the next couple weeks, we might see Resto Druid not in the top two for once. Shocking. Uh, they still are the best when it comes to Mythic Plus. You can see the scores for Preservation and Restoration Druid are still uh, noticeably ahead of every other healer in the game. Standard deviations away, which is incredible. I mean, if you're if you're talking about bringing a healer to Mythic Plus, there it's actually kind of ridiculous to consider a res preservation of Ochre or Restoration Druid if you're doing you know mid twenties keys like twenty five because they're just they're so much better than every other healer. That's just kind of the truth of the matter. Holy Paladin uh, kind of holds that up a little bit in Mythic Plus, but. They've been struggling in raid. Uh, again, I think this is, I don't, I don't know if we're outside that range of forgiveness because they're spot healers, but uh, yeah, that's kind of where they're at. Uh, but they're still kind of up there on the top when it comes to Mythic Plus. Holy Priest is in the third spot overall. They've been getting continued buffs. They're getting some divine image changes, which are interesting. I've always liked the visual aesthetic of a divine image, having a little Naru floating around next to you. You can have multiple of them. So that's going to be a fun build to test out once that goes live and we have that available. They do great in Heroic Raid. They do pretty good in Mythic Raid. And then they do uh, they do okay in Mythic Plus. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of just where they're at right now. I think Holy Priest just crossed the board really good. Uh, they, they have their weaknesses. They have their strengths. But they're still a great class and they're in a decent spot. And again, looking at this, I would say there's probably... Uh, Restoration Druid's probably within that range. Uh, maybe we just need to look at probably bringing the other healers up rather than trying to bring Preservation and Restor Druid down, but maybe I'm crazy. Call me crazy. Mistweaver takes the fourth slot, and for the last, like, basically the last month, since the buffs and the reworks and the addition of Shylin's Gift, Mistweaver has just been killing it in raid. They're just, they're so good. They're amazing. They're, they're good. Uh, there's going to be some changes in 10.0.7 that makes Shylin's Gift more single target. I have a feeling that's going to hurt them in raid probably more than it seems, but we'll have to see how that pans out. I haven't done any parses on the PTR yet to see where they land, but I, I'm, I'm happy with them being high. Mistweaver is a raid healer, so you'd want their, their throughput to be their main drawing point. It's not like they have crazy, you know, competitive things like, uh, you know, Spirit Link Totem or Mass Damage Reduction 
or like all these crazy like external cooldowns. Like, you know, they're just, they're raid healers. They heal. They put out the heals and everyone feels misty. That's kind of how it goes. So I, I hope that the changes they have planned for them don't hurt them too bad in the raid category. But uh, since the beginning of time, since the beginning of season one, Mistweaver has been the worst in Mythic Plus, and that remains unchanged. Uh, that the fist weaving play style was the only option previously. It it struggled to keep up with other healers in Mythic Plus. Did okay in in raid. They added the caster play style in that helped them a bunch in raid. Neither of them are comparable to the rest of the healers in Mythic Plus. Doesn't mean you can't do high keys. I've seen plenty of Mistweavers do 24s and 25s that are just the best in the world, and they're so good. It's possible, but on average across the large, the large portion of the player base, they are still noticeably worse than every other healer when it comes to Mythic Plus. Resto Shaman is about average in Heroic Raid, maybe a little bit lower than average in Heroic Raid, and then Mythic Raid, they're about the same as Holy Priest, which is about all you can expect from Resto Shaman, considering that they have other tools in their tool belt. Uh, they have flexibility to do some spot healing, they have good raid healing, tons of different totems for every situation, especially in Dragonflight, so they're probably in a good spot. Maybe they need a little bit of love for Mythic Plus. I don't know if this is a, uh, I don't know if this is like a, a healing surge problem or if this is a mana conservation problem. Uh, I actually haven't pushed my Resto Shaman too high, like higher than like plus 15s, plus 16s. So I'm not really sure where that starts to break down. They feel fine up until that point. So they're kind of at that there. But uh, in general, I think it's good. We're, we're getting chain heal changes for Resto Shaman in the 10.0.7. We don't really know what those are going to do. Chain Hill has always been a crazy build. It might uh, mean that uh, you, you stop running High Tide, or maybe it makes High Tide better. We'll see. Uh, there's some pretty big changes coming to them uh, on that front. Discipline is in the same spot that they've been in for the last month. They, since 10.0.5, much better in Mythic Plus. Still, in my opinion, below where they should be in Raid. I don't know why they're not getting more buffs. I don't know why Holy Priest keeps getting buffed and Discipline Priest keeps being left behind in the throughput department. I love the changes they made in 10.0.5 to, to make the shadow build more viable, to clean up some of the quality of life. They made the throughput burst options better for Mythic Plus. Awesome. I just feel like their atonement healing needs some love. It just needs a little bit of, you know, pump, pump, boof, boof to get it up a little bit because I feel like for how hard they work to get the atonement healing to what it should be, it should do more. That's just my humble opinion. Holy Paladin at the bottom this week. They do, uh, you know, they're they're basically tied with Holy with Holy Priest, Discipline Priest, and Resto Shaman when it comes to Mythic Plus. They are at the bottom for heroic for heroic raid and Mythic Raid. In Heroic Raid, they're about as low as Discipline, and for Mythic Raid, they're even lower than Discipline for throughput. Again, you can make the argument that Holy Paladin, you know, if, if you're going to bring four, four healers through a raid, you can say Holy Paladin. Focus on spot healing, focus on tank healing, focus on damage reduction, focus on cooldowns and uh, blessings, and we're going to get through this. And it's it's fine, um, but I would say they probably still need a little bit of HPS increase. And we did see a Light of Dawn buff for them, which should help their raid healing a, a, a tiny bit. They got like a 10% buff to that. So we'll see at the end of week 12 uh, if they come up a little bit in their performance for raid. But uh, they're, I would say overall they're in a decent spot. Just maybe some more AOE throughput in raid, and, and maybe they did that with the uh, the Light of Dawn buff, and maybe they do it with some of the talent tree changes that we're going to see in uh, coming in um, 10.0.7. They do they are doing some cleanups for Dusk and Dawn, and that's kind of crucial to getting good performance out of Holy Paladin. So if you're touching one of the core mechanics, uh, you, you expect to see some some changes coming out of that. So that's where the healers are this week, week 11. If you found value in the video, leave a like down below. I'll know if you didn't. Subscribe for more gaming content and come by my live stream or else. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. You can support me and my work on Patreon and view Patreon exclusive content. Link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.